I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've been walking down the street and a stranger will come up to me and say, Jeff, what are you carrying in your pockets? What is your EDC? I don't even know how they know my name. First up, my knife. This isn't any knife. This is a Gerber knife. It's a pocket knife. It's very grippy on this side, and you can see it's kind of worn out here because of all the times that I use it. On this side, it says Gerber on it, so people know that you're serious, and it even has somewhere this Gerber emblem. It looks like a shield with a sword through it. It has these notches to open it up, and this is no ordinary blade. This is a pendulum looking sort of blade, which means it's very threatening looking, and people know that you mean business. There's a little tape on there from the, uh, the packages I was opening up. So I can take this knife and I can rip into any Amazon packages I might receive. The next thing I carry on my person at all times, my wallet. This is a Trayvax wallet. It says Trayvax right here and it's made in the USA. I used to carry one of those big leather or even a Velcro wallet, but those days are gone. I see men today wearing fanny packs. They don't even wear them on their fanny. They have it draped across their shoulder. If any man carries a fanny pack, he is a fanny pack. This wallet is made for a man. It's metal. This piece here is actually some kind of can opener and you can open bottles with it and all sorts of things. It's very metallic and doesn't bend very easily. I think it might be iron, maybe even steel. And there's even a place here for cash, but I don't carry cash. I added on this special clippy thing. Some people call this a, a, a Caribbean. Car I'm not sure if it's Caribbean like the, the Caribbean Sea or Whatever it is, it clips onto my belt. This piece here stays really well. It holds everything in. Sometimes when I take out a card, the metal piece comes out too, but I just slip it back in like that. I've had this wallet for something like 10 years and it still is indestructible. The next item in my everyday carry, my keys. I carry a minimal amount of keys. In this case, I have six keys. I know what most of these keys do and I use them usually once a week. This key is extra special. It is the key to my 99 Jeep Wrangler. My Jeep gets 12 to maybe 13 miles per gallon. I keep essential cards on this, like my grocery store card, my gym membership, and my son's gym membership card, which he doesn't go anymore. But what makes this even more special is this item right here. It may look like a quarter inch guitar jack, but it's actually a key holder that plugs into this thing and holds our keys for us. Something like that. I don't have any fancy key rings on here. I just have a regular ring with just enough size to add additional keys if necessary. But I like to keep my pockets light so I don't add additional keys if I don't have to. The next piece of equipment any modern man must be carrying. Bluetooth headphones. These are my AirPod Pros with a super cool case. This looks like the case a man would use. It opens up like this and has a little locky thing on the side here. There's a light to show you if the battery's charged or not. It's open back here. I think that way it'll bend very easily. It open and closes really well, but if you don't do the lock, it doesn't open. I have another special Caribbean clip right here, and it's extra special because it has this little <coughs> lock piece that you can push open, and now it opens and closes easily. But if you push it down like this, it is now locked and it can't be opened. I also have these special earbud, airbud, airpod pieces. They're tempur or something along those lines. So when they go in my ear, they are not coming out. 
because I don't want my AirPods falling out when I'm lifting heavy weights. As a man over 40, this next item is a necessity. This is a special tooth flossing item which allows you to pick your teeth on one end and floss your teeth on the other end. You can put this between your teeth and scrape it around and get any gunk left from your last meal. The nice thing about these tooth flossers and pickers is they're disposable. You just throw them on the ground and leave them. An important item that you may not think is so essential, but it is, and let me explain why, is this. Special chicken restaurant filet sauce. You know, as well as I do, that these special Christian chicken places don't give you enough sauce. You might ask for a dozen packs, and they give you 11. I always carry an extra because I want a full dipping experience. I don't want to have to ration my sauce as I'm enjoying my chicken sandwich and my waffle fries. Because of our current times, there is another essential everyday carry item every man and woman and child should be carrying. This is no ordinary hand sanitizer. As you can see, it is well worn from being in my pockets. It has a special carry case that will not break and will not come off. The top opens and closes and stays pretty tight and leaves some things on your black paper. It has this cool maple leaf on the back with some glitter which makes it extra special for the different seasons of the year, especially fall or if you live in Canada. Every modern man knows that he wants to be a hipster deep down, especially if he's over 40. So we carry these coffee cards to our favorite coffee shop. They will punch out these stars to allow you to get a free coffee once you buy 10. I usually forget mine in my car and pick up an additional one. And I keep them both with me occasionally so that I can get my punch. Or I just get a new card next time I'm there. The next item is one most of us have in our pockets at some point during the day. Receipts. We save our receipts because we take pictures of them and get special points for items that we can get at another time. This receipt is from my favorite Christian chicken restaurant. But I save these because you never know when you need to leave somebody a note. You hit somebody's car, you leave them a note. You see your wife but you don't have time to talk, you leave her a note. If you're gonna carry receipts with you, which you will, you'll need this next instrument. Not this one, this one, the fat Sharpie. This Sharpie is extra fat to make sure all the ink comes out as needed. This is not any regular Sharpie. This is a super Sharpie, which means it leaves super big notes for people to see. At one point, I carried those special pens that you can click down the color of ink that you want. But now, I carry this. Let me show you its effectiveness. You may laugh, but if you're a man and you're over 40, you know this is a tool that you need on a regular daily basis. An ear and nose hair trimmer. 
We don't want to be embarrassed in front of our friends or especially around the ladies. I carry this special trimmer with me so I can quickly and easily trim unwanted nose and ear hairs, occasionally around the eyebrows as well, or between the eyes. You just put it in, turn, clean it out. As we all know, you never know when a blizzard could strike and you're stranded on the highway. Therefore, we have to have non-perishable food items. I carry these Mike and Ikes. These Mike and Ikes can last for a long time. They don't need to be refrigerated. They don't even need to stay in the box. You can keep these in your pocket. They won't melt. They won't get crushed. And even if they do get crushed a little bit, you can still eat it. What I do is I pick out the greens and the yellows first. I eat these first to get them out of the way. Then I can enjoy the more tropical fruit flavors like orange and pink and red, or those might all be the same. I usually will eat the orange second and then save the red for last. If I'm with a friend, I give them the green and the yellows. They'll be fine. Mike and Ike's are a perfect size and perfect texture. They look like a bean, but they're hard and you can put them in your pocket. And they're hard to even pull apart. Once again, men under 40, you know this is an essential item that must be part of your everyday carry. This is not a band-aid, but it could be used as a band-aid if you accidentally cut your finger opening an Amazon package with your knife. Rather, this is a special nasal strip to hold my nose open if I end up sleeping someplace where I am not prepared and I need it. It has this strip here that you You can easily, you open this up when you need it and you just put it right on your nose and it opens up your nose. Football players wear these so you know that they're made for men. As a man, in this case, 30 and over, this is an essential everyday carry item. Tissues, a portable tissue pack. This tissue pack closes up and you can open it up and take the tissues out. It says explore the world on it because I'm an explorer. I like to have adventures in my life and sneezing is no adventure. One time my brother-in-law hurt his back and I think it was because he tried to hold back a sneeze. Never again. Let it out men. Let it out. Finally, the last item on my everyday carry list. Readers. If you're over 40, you know you need readers. These aren't ordinary readers, these are hipster readers. When you wear them, people know you're intelligent. Now, the next time you're going out, don't forget your essential everyday carry. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, show a little love and hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, step it up a little more and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Thank you again for checking out the Jeff Bruce.